In today's video, I want to share the not-so-fun parts of owning an agency, which is experiencing burnout. Recently, I faced some challenges when, while growing this agency. With challenges, or even really good moments, you can find yourself burnt out. Burnout is something that many feel, but few discuss, because we're supposed to just be robots and love our businesses all the time. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but the truth is, is that some would say it's hard and I'm currently at a point in my life when I'm realizing that things aren't hard, they're just new. But whether on the side of this is hard or this is new, so it's stretching me in challenging ways, I think we can both agree that running a business or an agency is frustrating at times. And for many of us, it requires more discipline and consistency than we've ever had to show. So in this real, raw, and grace providing video, I want to share some of the things I do to limit burnout as a business owner, wife, mom, and all the other things. Please note that I didn't say avoid because over time I think burnout is a normal emotion to feel, even if all is well in all areas of your life. Let's dive into my favorite go-to activities when I feel myself slipping into exhaustion and burnout. The first thing I like to do is take a walk. I have found the perfect route in our neighborhood that allows me to take a three mile walk. Not only does this help me regroup and get my mind together, but it also makes me feel good knowing that I did something for me those days. It also makes me feel good that, to know that I'm closer to my 10,000 daily step goal. The next thing I may do is light a candle. I went to a local candle shop and made this candle specifically for me. I named it Made For This and in the moment, I didn't really realize the importance of that phrase. But now I only light it when I feel nervous, scared, overwhelmed, or burnt out. It's a tangible reminder that I was made for this and that I'll get through it. It lifts my mood every time I light it. Another thing I sometimes do to get me out of feeling burnt out is to do a passion project. Now remember, I am a designer, so for me, passion projects sometimes means making mock-ups with brands I've previously created or creating a brand from scratch for my enjoyment. Stop playing with them. Other times passion projects looks like finding an area in my home to redecorate or reorganizing my iPad. Whatever the project is, the key to limiting the burnout you may feel is to make sure it makes you happy while doing it. When you're looking to limit burnout but feel it creeping up, change your work environment. Maybe it's co-working with a friend at their home or getting some work done at a coffee shop. The key is to get out of your typical four walls and change your scenery. If you consider yourself an extrovert, you could potentially plan to work from coffee shops and parks three days a week to ensure you aren't too bored in your home environment, week in and week out. All of the things I've shared so far are favorites when it comes to limiting burnout, but trust me, drinking your favorite drink hits different every time, y'all. It gives you something to look forward to and it immediately places a smile on your face when you drink it. It's almost like a mini escape from reality for a moment, which is sometimes all we need to get back on track when we feel burnt out approaching. The sixth thing I do is decide to work on my business instead of in my business or vice versa if working on my business is causing me to be burnt out. Changing your focus can help reignite your why and motivate you to keep going even when all you need is a good old nap which has also never led me astray. <laughs> my all time favorite is to pray and listen to soft songs that praise and worship God. If you're not a believer I would consider playing relaxing music but for me a good prayer followed by a calming worship song pulls me out of whatever I'm feeling and reminds me that I was made for this and that I'm on the right track. So with that said that was seven things I do to limit burnout as a business owner. I have other things like delegating more tasks and putting more systems and automations in place so if you want a part two of this video just let me know in the comments down below. 
Thank you so much again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.